you consider the location to put your sign, you want to think about where you need to slow the traffic down. In this case, we're doing a long straightaway for a hill so that people consider their speed as they're getting ready to go down the hill. The first step is to take the sign out of the bag and take the mounting bracket off the sign. To do that, I get my key and I undo the lock and I can take the mounting bracket off. Now that I've taken the mounting bracket off of the sign, I'm going to mount it onto the pole with carriage bolts. So I put the carriage bolt through the pole, through one of the mounting bracket holes, and I put the wing nut on. Before I tighten that, I put the second carriage bolt through, through the alignment slot, and in this case I use the fender washer, and I put this wing on. I make sure that my bracket is fairly straight, and I tighten down on the wing nuts. You could use the regular nuts in this situation if you were going to leave the bracket on the pole, but since we're setting it up to take the bracket with the sign when we move it to a new location, I just use the wing nuts. Now that I have the mounting bracket on the pole, my next step is to put the year speed sign in position on the shield. I take out the two mounting bolts, and I slide the year speed sign into position at the top of the sign. I reinstall the hardware. You could use the thumb screws like I am here, but you could also use the tamper-proof hardware that's supplied with the sign, depending on the location where you're going to put the sign. Now that I have the year speed sign in position, my next step is to set the settings on the sign. There are three buttons on the sign. There's a power setting, a speed limit setting, and a display mode setting. These are so that you can set the basic settings out in the field and you can do the more detailed settings utilizing the PDA or the DC. So the first step is to turn the power on. And when I do that, the sign will go through its startup mode. Once it's done in its startup mode, I'm going to set the speed limit. And by pushing on the speed limit button, the first thing it does is tell me where it's set. And then I can increment through five mile an hour increments until I get to my speed limit. Now in this case, I'm going to set it back to 25 again. Now that I have my speed limit set, my next setting is the display mode. And I push on the display mode button, it tells me where it is, which is constant display with stroke. I can cycle through these as well. I can get demo mode. I can turn the display off for data collection. I can put it on blinking, constant, blinking with stroke, or constant with stroke, which is where I'm going to leave it. And once the display goes blank, that's where the sign is now set. Now that I have my sign set, I want to mount it on the pole. And to do that, I simply put the slot in the shield over the tab on the mounting bracket. rotate it down into position, and I lock it on the pole. And at that point, the shield is secured to the pole. We now have the shield mounted to the pole. We use the carriage bolts, and the heads can't be tampered with so that the hardware is secure. And both the mounting hardware and the sign's controls are behind the mounting bracket. And when the sign is locked to the pole, the controls and the hardware cannot be tampered with, so the sign is secure. When you're ready to move the sign to a new location or take it back to the office to charge the batteries, to remove the sign from the pole, you simply Unlock the lock, pull the sign out, and lift it off the pole.